Hello friends, I wanted to do a quick video, a little blog here on my experiences in New Zealand. I've been here for a couple of days and I'm in quarantine at the moment, I wanted to share some of that with you. Uh, yes, yeah, so I started out a couple of days ago up in Connecticut, I flew across from New York to LAX. LAX, it was like a ghost town, there was just nobody there, so bizarre going through LAX with nobody there. And then from LAX I took Air New Zealand down to Auckland. And then once you get to Auckland, you get processed through, and New Zealand takes quarantining very seriously. Rightly so, New Zealand has the lowest COVID-19 rates anywhere in the world. And what you have to do is you have to go into a quarantine hotel, and you basically stay in your room for 14 days. And all the quarantine hotels uh, in my area where I live, Auckland, uh, were full, so they shipped us onto another plane, sent us down to Christchurch, which is in the South Island. Uh, and Christchurch is a very nice city. Not, not, no hardship being in Christchurch, it's just annoying they have to take yet another flight back once we finish this. So yeah, I'm in this little hotel room for 14 days now, and I have to say, the army and the police and the staff in the hotel have all been so gracious and so nice. We had a few screw-ups here and there, but overall it is just a well-oiled machine. It is fantastic. Uh, the New Zealand government's doing a good job of this. And of course, they give you a little question and answer sheet to get you on your way. You know, how do you do this? How do you get food? Uh, when should I wear my mask? Can I leave my room? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. And really what they're saying is you can't leave your room except for uh, to go out to the exercise area. Um, and even then there's a whole lot of rules and you can order some food in but there's a whole lot of uh, restrictions around that. Uh, you can't smoke, you can't bring alcohol in, etc. etc. In fact they have a whole list here, uh, this is a good one, uh, prohibited items and as you'd expect it's alcohol, drugs, weapons, <laughs> and sandwich makers. <laughs> yes, little known fact about New Zealand as well, the rest of the world is dealing with drugs, guns and alcohol. <laughs> New Zealand is having to deal with sandwich makers. It's the scourge of our youth. But overall, yeah, the room is very comfortable. Uh, I've got no problem staying here. A couple of little things I wouldn't mind seeing tweaked. First of all, <laughs> the internet is terrible here. Um, honestly, the Mars Rover has less latency than the internet in my room, but we're coping. And my, <laughs> in my bathroom, my toilet just never stops running. Ah, it's so annoying. Every time I have to use that, I have to take it all apart and tinker and push, but ah, we get it sorted. It's all good. Also on the list of frequently asked questions, it's, it's funny, they, uh, you go through and they answer all the questions, but then again, they get to a couple of questions which are obviously a little, a little bit too hard to answer, like, how do I do my laundry? We'll just leave that blank. <laughs> uh, do housekeeping clean my room? <laughs> I think we'll just leave that blank as well. And then down the bottom, uh, they've got a couple of helpful contact numbers. The first, the top of the list being uh, work and income, I think because they figure <laughs> if you've got no internet, you're gonna lose your job anyway, so we'll give you this number. And then of course you're stuck in a little hotel room for two weeks <laughs> with no internet <laughs> and a running toilet. They figure someone's gonna have some mental health problems sooner or later, so they include the mental health numbers. Oh, <laughs> no, they don't include that either. So I've been making my own entertainment and uh, I went down to the uh, exercise area. There's a little uh, cordoned off area in the parking lot. You can walk around and around and around in circles. Uh, so I went around down there and walked around and around and around in circles and then took a photo of myself next to some of the local fauna and flora. And of course immediately got accosted by one of the other guests who's... Uh, these people. He came running across, you can't have a camera here. And um, and I can, you know, it's, there's no rule against having cameras in the common areas. I was just taking a picture of myself, ah, these people. Anyway, so I took a picture of him <laughs> and he really got angry then and ran off and told one of the policemen. So it's 2.30 now, I still haven't been arrested. I think we'll be fine. And subsequently I found out that, well, there's no rule in here. Uh, they strongly discourage me from flying my photography drone in my room. <laughs> <laughs> 